Hello everyone, this is Erica Lux. I want to share some information about the Turnitin feature in eLearn's Dropboxes, what it is, and how to use it. Turnitin is a tool used in eLearn to help eliminate misuse of intellectual property. In other words, it helps prevent accidental or intentional plagiarism. Some instructors may also use it to provide feedback on written work, but today we're just going to look at how it can help you double check that you're using sources correctly and ethically. You should think of it as a tool to use in the final stages of revision. It's an extra set of eyes on your work. How does it work? The first step is to submit your work to the Dropbox folder. Once you are done submitting your document, go back to your submissions history. You will see this in progress notification under report letting you know the submission is being processed. This leads to step two, wait. Sometimes it takes a while for the document to be reviewed. Keep refreshing the page and checking back. When it is ready, you will see an icon with a percentage and a color. The percentage tells you how much of the document is not original. Step three is to click and review. Click on the icon to be taken to the originality report. This report indicates where that percentage comes from and will even show you the original sources. These are listed on the right. This is your chance to see if you've misused any material, forgotten quotation marks or citations, or have exceeded the percentage allowed by your instructor. For example, I don't allow orig an originality report over 25% because I want the focus of the essays to be on my students' ideas. So even if the material is used correctly, I want to see summarizing and paraphrasing instead of just straight quoting. To view the original source, click on the highlighted section. You can also click Full Source View to see the entire document or page. Sometimes you will not be able to view the original source because it comes from a student paper and will remain the intellectual property of their authors, instructors, and respective institutions. Again, this is a tool for you to use. If you see any errors, make the revisions and resubmit. Remember to always give credit to your sources by introducing them in the text, using quotation marks to distinguish your words from the authors, and including in-text citations in a works cited page. Ask your instructor if you have any questions about this. Don't be afraid to contact him or her about something you see on the originality report. They'll be happier being proactive and using the resources available to you. This means also submitting your work early enough so there's time to make revisions if necessary. Another available resource is the Andrews Reading and Writing Center in IMC 215. Tutors are available to assist you, so don't hesitate to ask for help. Quick review, the three steps are to submit your work, wait, then click and review. Thank you and have a great semester.